So dear friends, I have been advising you to please pair online dating apps with offline strategy. Put yourself out there, go meet friends, join different activities. But have you ever asked yourself a question? What if it happens? <laughs> you come to meet someone, let's say you are in Africa, you are in the Philippines or in the Caribbean. What are you going to do? Is the experience of dating a white guy on online dating apps same as dating a white guy in real life? Would you like to get some tips <laughs> on how to handle your relationship if you find a white guy in Africa or wherever part of the world you are outside his country? If you want that advice, then today's video is the one is very very perfect for you but not only that guys i know you who are online dating up searching you have been chatting with guys and you find that you're chatting with a white guy everything is very fine then this guy tells you but i don't want to live in my country let's take an example this white guy lives in europe or in australia canada america but he tells you i don't want to live in america i'm planning to go maybe live in europe i don't like to live in america so if that guy tells you that should you believe him <laughs> Or you should say, no, I think this is a red flag because Bella told us if a guy starts telling you I want to retire in another country far away from the country of his origin, then it's a problem. <laughs> so I should leave this guy. <laughs> should you leave him? We are going to get answers for that and how to go about it. Because sometimes you can find yourself in a situation and you ask yourself, now what should I do? So I am here as a sister to help you in every situation that you come across whether on online dating apps or in real life. So guys, that takes us to our today's video, which is going to be a story time. Yes, today we have a very sweet, beautiful love story of a Nigerian girl and an Italian guy on how they met. But through their journey, or I might say her journey, cause we are more talking about her, she is our sister from Nigeria, <laughs> we are going to learn a lot. So guys, without wasting much of your time, I want you to sit down with a cup of tea, a glass of water, a glass of wine, enjoy this sweet love story because it's going to be very, very inspiring. You're going to laugh a lot. You know me, guys. <laughs> when I tell you a story, we cannot forget to laugh. So let us jump into our today's video. So dear friends, uh, this story will be about our Nigerian sister. Like I said, her name is Nani. And when she found love, she was in her early 20s with an Italian guy who was in his late 20s. But guys, before we go to how they found love or how they found each other, it is good for us to know Nani's background, where she came from before finding love. This is very, very important. Like I told you guys, we all have where we came from. You can see someone very successful or you see a very beautiful couple, very successful. They love each other and you'll be like, oh my God, this girl is very, very lucky. Why is that I am not lucky like her? <laughs> but a question to ask yourself, do you know where she came from? Do you know the challenges she passed through? through till she is where she is. <laughs> that is why I always love to share with you the background of the ladies who share with us their love story. So friends, Nani's story starts when she was four years of age, her parents separated. And after the separation, Nani and the brother went to live with the father. So the mother used to go visit them every weekend. It went like that till Nani was in her teenage age and then lost the dad. So after losing the dad, it was a very difficult moment for Nani and the whole family. What they decided to do, they decided to go and stay with Nani's auntie, the sister to Nani's mother. Nani continued with her studies 
till she finished high school. And after finishing high school, Nani's cousin, the son to Nani's auntie, went and talked to Nani's auntie, requested her that to allow Nani go work at his shop. It was like a mini supermarket. So this cousin was starting a new business outside of his shop and it was selling the rechargeable cell phone cards to people so the auntie accepted and nanny started working so friends nanny tells us her working area had lots of people passing by plus it was an area which had lots of businesses so she could meet different people every day and she made lots lots of friends while doing that business so because nanny had just finished her high school was very young single and we see her working environment has got lots of people around <laughs> she met someone and that's when nanny's love story begins so she tells us her first love while doing that business this guy was an engineer and really loved nanny at first sight just the first day he saw her he fell in love with her so they immediately started dating they were a couple <laughs> and then nanny lost her phone so after nanny losing her phone she had to ask a boyfriend because you know in africa a man should take care of a woman if we are dating you should take care of me you have a problem you talk to your boyfriend he is the first person to talk to <laughs> You can't just call a friend and ask for something or ask for help when you are in a problem while you have a boyfriend. That is the situation, the real life. <laughs> this is the real talk. So let's go back to Nani and this engineer, the boyfriend. Ask the boyfriend for the phone because the business she was doing really needed a phone. So the boyfriend was like, I have two phones. I'm going to give you one. So guys, after Nani taking the phone, the wife to Nani's cousin told Nani that I see you're dating this guy but be very very careful yes he loves you but you know <laughs> shine your eyes keep your eyes wide open <laughs> Like she told her, stay on that alert mode that I have been telling you guys. So after Nani hearing that, that is when she started like investigating this guy more and more and had to take that phone, went to the past messages that were sent when the guy was using that phone, maybe she could find something. And to her surprise guys, she found lots, lots of messages of this boyfriend of hers chatting with another lady and the message of the lady made nanny get worried because the lady was complaining you left me for her after all of the things i have done for you i had to abort a baby because you asked me to do it thinking that you're going to marry me but after meeting that girl who is nanny you decided to leave me so the lady was complaining and complaining and complaining in those messages so after nanny reading those messages had to call the boyfriend told him everything about the messages and was like i think we should end this relationship because i don't want drama here in my business because if this lady comes and start fighting me just because you left her for me it won't be a good thing i think you should return to her it's over between us nanny did that you know as a woman and i'm so proud of her she did that always guys try to be human try to put yourself in the shoes of others so nanny left this guy because she felt very very sorry for a lady a lady who is complaining that she aborted her baby just because of this man who was a liar but at the same time she was like if this guy was able to leave a lady who aborted just because of him and came to me 
what will happen to me he might do the same or the worst so the better thing was to end that relationship the problem with most ladies they think that they are the best they can change a guy because this guy is dating me it won't happen to me they feel like a super woman <laughs> nothing can touch you this guy cannot cheat on you but guys it's not true you are not a super woman you are not that special that if this guy was able to leave the girl that got pregnant for him came to you he will leave you to go to another lady we should also learn from this to avoid future tears <laughs> yes guys <laughs> so after nani ending that relationship she stayed single and didn't want anything to do with any other guy in her life she was like now i'm going to concentrate on my business and my father studies remember she had just stopped at high school level she was enjoying her single life so guys in 2012 something happened that changed nani's life completely and that is why i am here today to share with you this sweet love story because that year like i explained to you guys nanny's business was outside the shop of the cousin she used to put like an umbrella then put some seats seat sell these rechargeable cell phone cards to people so it was a moving area i hope you understand me and another thing she tells us is that where she used to see it, her business was facing a gate of residential area of shell workers and one day came this friend of nanny told her that there is this guy who always come out of that gate escorted by military people every morning and he always stares at you for so so long nanny was like is it i haven't noticed that the friend told her tomorrow i'm going to show you this guy and yes the next morning nanny's friend came ready to show the guy who always stares at her <laughs> so she was busy doing her business the gate was open and then this guy came out <laughs> the guy started staring at nanny the friend was like look 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 that is the guy i've been telling you <laughs> and he's staring at you so nanny looked at the guy yes the guy was staring at her but after seeing nanny he pretended not looking <laughs> <laughs> then he went so the next day was the same thing and the third day the same so nanny was like what are you looking at me she decided to wave to the guy like this <laughs> and the guy waved too <laughs> he left and nanny continued with her business it continued like that at some point nanny couldn't take it anymore was like no i'm not going to be staying here when i see him going out i will hide so she could hide and when the guy passes then she comes out <laughs> this is very very funny <laughs> so nanny kept hiding and after some time nanny had this friend this friend was a guy his name is Tony and Tony's job was to take you know black ladies and connect them to white guys or guys who are coming outside Nigeria to work in Nigeria as expatriates so that was his job but was Nani's friend and used to treat Nani as a sister never told her anything like I'm going to connect you to this white guy or to that guy no nothing like that in a relationship of a brother and a sister so after that incident of Nani hiding away from this guy one day Tony called Nani told her that there is someone I gave your phone numbers Two. then nanny got so so angry told tony why did you give my phone numbers without asking me how could you do that to me tony i thought you were my friend my brother tony told nanny no that guy is a good guy very respectful and responsible so do not worry but nanny got so mad at tony and after three hours nanny talking to tony her phone started ringing she did not pick 
because she knew who was calling the person that Tony gave her phone numbers. She never wanted to pick because she was still angry at Tony. So the guy kept calling and calling and calling. Then in the evening, Nani decided to pick and said, hello, who is this? Then the guy introduced himself. I am Henry. Tony gave me your phone numbers. I really want to see you. I like you. I would like to talk with you more and get to know you more. So what Nani did wanted, you know, to appear as a friendly person. And yes, she is a friendly person. So on the phone really made this guy believe that she's also friendly. She said, okay, no problem. So let's meet on Sunday this weekend. The guy was so happy and told Nani, okay, no problem. I'm going to be waiting for you. When the guy ended the call. Nani was like, me, go visit you at your place. I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Just forget about that. Nani never went to that appointment on Sunday. She kept on with her life and three months passed. So guys, after three months passing from when Nani lied to Henry that I'm going to come on Sunday to meet you, then she was like, I'm not going to meet a stranger. So she tells us that day was a market day because they used to go to the market to sell fabrics with the wife of the cousin. And that market, she tells us it was along the road, but on the street roads, and it was a very, very populated area. So she was busy selling fabrics she had hair ties, hair traps on her hands trying to sell and in the middle of that population saw someone waving to her. <laughs> took a good look at that person it was henry guys in the mix of people trying to wave to nani nani was very very surprised waved back but remained with lots of questions that why henry was at the market waving to her so that day ended but she remained wowed by what Henry did. So friends, after that encounter at the market, some days passed without Nani seeing Henry passing by. And she was like, I think I did bad. I need to check on this guy. So she flashed Henry and before he picked, she ended the call. <laughs> oh my God. Henry started calling continuously more than 10 times. <laughs> this is so funny. Till a neighbor to Nani told her, can you please pick that call? <laughs> she had to pick and Henry was like, how are you doing? How are things? Nani said, I am fine. I haven't seen you this morning. That is why I decided to check on you. <laughs> Henry said, yes, it's because I'm going to Italy for 15 days break. Then asked, are you now ready to meet me? Nani said, yes. So Henry told her, when I come back, I'm going to let you know so that we can meet. So guys, 15 days passed very, very fast. Henry came back and after two days of him returning, he called Nani, told her I am back. And then they fixed for their first meeting at Henry's house. It was supposed to be on Sunday that weekend. So the weekend came and Nani started preparing herself. She tells us <laughs> the way she dressed up she covered her whole body <laughs> she was like she was wearing bulletproof dresses <laughs> to go meet henry and when she arrived henry went to pick her at the gate was like oh my god you're so beautiful i am so happy you came and then took her to his house then when she arrived offered drinks gave her some food they started talking something so funny she tells us is that the way they were seated, she was seated on the other corner of the sofa and Henry on the other corner of the sofa. <laughs> seated separately, very far, and they talked about life and everything. Henry told her that I'm really interested in you. I would like to know you more. I really like you very, very much. So after they finished talking, it was time for Nani to leave. And do you know what Henry did? <laughs> Stubborn boy. <laughs> he kissed 
nanny and after the kiss nanny was like okay i have to go <laughs> so she left so after she left they started dating you know sending each other messages calling each other especially at night <laughs> <laughs> oh my god new love have you ever experienced that like you talk and talk and talk and at night time it is a perfect moment for you guys to talk and send each other those sweet messages so they used to do that so they continued like that seeing each other i know now you're like bella can you please tell us so fast <laughs> did she share her goodies <laughs> Yes, guys, she tells us she gave her goodies on her third time to see Henry. But she used to sneak out because, you know, she was still living with the auntie. <laughs> so, yes, she gave her goodies on the third time, not the first time. And they really enjoyed. <laughs> it was a good experience. <laughs> so they kept on dating and one time nanny returned home it was at night and found her mom crying when she asked the mom the mom explained everything she wasn't happy the way they were treating her at her auntie's place so nanny too became sad started crying but nanny wasn't in a position to help her mom move out of her auntie's place because she was doing that business and the business was managed by the cousin so they could give her some money but the money wasn't enough to move her mother out plus she wanted to finish her father's studies so that night henry called and nanny was very very sad explained everything of what is happening never asked money from henry but henry told her please on saturday come meet me so that we can talk so saturday came then nanny went to henry's place they talked henry asked nanny how much is needed to move your mother out so that she can have a house of her own nanny told henry and then henry went inside and brought money that was enough to move nanny's mother out of her auntie's place gave it to nanny and told her i hope you are happy because i don't want to see you sad i want you to be happy nanny was shocked she did not expect that but happy at the same time so she went and started looking for the house got the house for her mom and moved her out of her auntie's place so what do we learn from this a guy who truly loves you from the bottom of his heart will always be there for you not a guy that only wants to use you i mean who wants to take only your goodies <laughs> <laughs> he likes you or he loves you when it is that time but when it comes to your private life which makes you to be who you are he is not interested when you see that in a guy whether you met on online dating apps or you met in africa you just know that you don't mean anything to that guy he did that because he loved her and he didn't want to see her sad when a guy loves you will never want to see you sad he wants you happy all the time so when they moved to the new house nanny tells us it was easier for her to go visit henry because she was no longer under auntie's supervision and she told the mother about henry and everything so the mother understood so guys they kept on with their relationship everything was going super good nanny going weekends to stay with henry loving davy <laughs> <laughs> that kind of lifestyle so as they were dating there are some things they talked about one of it henry told nanny that i am not planning to marry you i don't believe in marriage for me i think marriage is just papers it doesn't change anything so i'm not planning to marry you but i want to live with you for the rest of my life <laughs> So beautiful ladies, what could you have done 
with a guy like that <laughs> leave him just because he told you he's not planning to marry you but wants to live with you he loves you marriage doesn't change anything whether married or not it is the same for him so for nanny when henry told her that she was like oh that is strange because for me i believe in marriage and you know i dream to get married one day henry was like no for me i don't believe in marriage <laughs> and another thing guys i talked of the goodies nanny said she gave her goodies to henry but wasn't expecting anything she was like okay let's do this and we see what will happen she didn't have lots of expectations from henry with this i cannot just let it without advising you something if you're going to sleep with a guy let's take an example this guy invites you at his place you like the guy the guy likes you but you are not sure of his real intentions if you will decide to give your goodies to him then just take it in your head set your mind that i am doing this just for fun whatever happens i am okay <laughs> and that way you won't get hurt if this guy plays games on you and dumps you you'll be like at least i enjoyed <laughs> yeah then feeding yourself lots of things about the guy he's gonna marry me he is mine and you start imagining of the things that don't even exist in that guy's mind you get hurt in the end if this guy just wanted to take your goodies yes so with nanny she was like yes i'm giving my goodies but i'm not expecting much so even if henry left her she could be like okay i did not expect a lot so that one of marriage for nanny it was kind of strange but she did not leave henry just because of that she kept on with the relationship thing number two that they talked about henry told her yes i am an italian but i don't like to live in europe it's not my dream to live in europe for me i dream to live in south america so one day if you're going to live together have a family together we will live in south america so their relationship was super super good and then as the year was almost in the middle henry told nanny that this year is the last year for me in nigeria next year i'm not coming back because my contract here is ending if you want to know what does henry do his job he is an industrial engineer and was working in nigeria as an expatriate yes so told her my contract is ending i won't be coming back but right now i want us to start preparing your documents go look for the passport every document that allows you to travel because after this contract i've got another job in the middle east and i would like you to come visit me when i am there so with these guys you can meet a guy let's say he's a white guy or he's just a black guy let's take an example you are in kenya then you meet a guy from south africa you meet a guy let's say the board he is a white guy works in the philippines on contract then you start dating this guy should be open with you it is not only when you are chatting on online dating apps no the guy should be open with you to tell you when his contract is ending and if that contract ends what next but not next in his life no next about your relationship when you ask a guy about the next step of your relationship and then this guy brings lots of stories you don't see the future you know this guy is just a player just playing with you so better leave him because we see henry started telling nanny in the middle of the year that by the end of this year my contract is ending and i'm going to work another place but i would like you to come visit me that means he wanted that relationship to continue i know our problem guys i am a black woman and like i said i try to put myself in your shoes we are always scared to ask questions 
from these men that we date especially if the guy is a white guy or he is a black guy but not from your country you're like i don't know what is he going to think of me so you follow whatever he tells you but you don't want to look at the safer side of you how safe you are with this guy is there future or no so always ask questions to these guys if you see them not talking but dating you taking your goodies yes <laughs> so what henry did gave money to nanny for the whole process of the documents so that she can get the passport and everything for her to travel so nanny started the process and she was lucky she got all documents the passport and everything so time passed and then it was time for henry to take another break go to italy but he was supposed to come back because the contract was still going on then he traveled guys went to italy while he was there called nanny told her that i've talked with my mom about you and my sister told them that i found a very beautiful girl in nigeria and i am very very in love with her <laughs> he said the mother and the sister were very very happy about that news and then again sent his italian home number in case nanny doesn't get him where to call this shows a guy who is serious and open with you so harry stayed in italy and the time to return to nigeria came told nanny the exact date that he was returning and yes nanny waited for him she was very very happy to meet him again after that holiday she actually missed him and he missed her <laughs> so if you know you know <laughs> the goodies <laughs> after that holiday break so they slept together and the next morning Henry's manager visited and saw Nanny's shoes in the living room <laughs> and then he was like oh my god Henry you just returned yesterday and your girlfriend is here already don't you have a girlfriend in Italy <laughs> Henry said, no, I don't have any girlfriend. She is my only girlfriend. Then the manager added, you must love her so much. Henry said, yes, very, very much. So that gave an answer to Nani that Henry does not have any other girlfriend, not in Italy, not in Nigeria, not any other place in the world, only her. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to tell you this. When Henry returned back from Italy, brought a gift to Nani, and this gift was a Blackberry, a latest Blackberry at that time, the phone that even Henry himself did not have. <laughs> yeah this is love you know when a man loves you he will want to give you all 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 that he has but it is just because he loves you it doesn't mean he's stupid no <laughs> so guys the relationship continued and it was time for henry to go back to italy leaving nigeria for good so as they were talking nani promised henry that before you leave i'll come stay with you two weeks and yes when the time came henry nani do you remember what you promised me <laughs> and he was like what he said you promised me that you will come to stay with me <laughs> for two weeks so nani said okay i remember i will come and yes nani went so they stayed together you know started living together for those two weeks they could do everything together wake up in the morning prepare breakfast nanny go to work everything was super good she used to take care of him you have to show the guy that you are capable you can and about cleaning nanny was playing her cards very well showing the guy you know what i can take a good care of you i am a wife material <laughs> yes they had cleaners but she did not just sit and be like okay you can clean everything <laughs> it's your job no she played her cards very well so you too need to learn from this 
play your cards very well in all sectors guys not only in bed <laughs> so guys the day for henry to say goodbye to nigeria came and asked nani if she could go with him to lagos stay with him at the hotel before he travels nani accepted and they went to lagos together stayed at sheraton hotel enjoyed that day very very well but at the same time nani was very very sad that henry is leaving her a lot of things were running through her mind what if it ends here what if this will be the last time i see him but again at that moment you have no option she cried so much henry told her not to cry not to worry everything will be fine they're going to be together forever this is the reaction of a guy that has got good plans with you not you're saying goodbye to a guy you are crying and the guy doesn't even care about your tears <laughs> so no matter how much nanny cried it was what it is henry had to leave and he left so guys when he left we know a long distance relationship is not easy things happened this couple fought and they decided to break up so when they broke up everyone stayed on their own so they broke up with henry but she tells us every evening a private number could call her <laughs> And she could be like this must be henry but she never picked so it continued like that and five months passed and then one day henry called nanny told her please i want to talk with you please i still love you i want to see you please let's talk let's try again and see if it's gonna work out or not so after talking they agreed they're going to try again on their relationship <laughs> see if it will work or not and immediately henry invited nanny to dubai so at that time he was working in the middle east and that is why he said let's meet in dubai have something like a vacation and talk about us so nanny went through the visa process got the visa but also after getting the visa when it was time for her to travel came this challenge with the immigration but in the end she was able to go to dubai when she arrived henry was at the airport waiting for her oh my god when they saw each other they were so happy to see each other again after six months <laughs> away you know they broke up <laughs> so it was a very happy moment for both of them and they went to the hotel where henry had booked so nanny tells us they enjoyed a lot in dubai visited different places in dubai and he bought again a latest samsung that came out that week it was a very very expensive phone nanny was super super happy so in her stay in dubai henry sat down with her and told her that i have called you i wanted you to come so that we can talk face to face you remember when i told you i'm not planning to live in italy i don't like to live in europe but i want to live in south america nanny said yes i remember and he told her that i called you because i want us to discuss about that you give me a go ahead i want to go buy a land in south america then we start building our future house nanny said it's okay i agree i give you a go ahead so her stay in dubai ended it was time for her to return to nigeria he bought lots lots of gifts for her and for her family also gave her money as a gift nanny left returned to nigeria but they kept on communicating and after nanny left then henry went to south america bought a land told nanny i have bought a land that i told you so our plans continues so they kept on communicating and this time the relationship was getting strong and stronger then 2014 that is when henry again invited nanny to dubai so that they can go together to south america so nanny went to dubai arrived henry was at the airport waiting for her but this is so funny <laughs> nanny passed henry <laughs> <laughs> did not see him and then henry was like look at this guy she has forgotten about me <laughs> 
how can you forget your boyfriend nani tells us it has passed like a year she did not recognize him again so they laughed hugged and then went to the hotel where henry was staying so at the hotel henry again told nani how much he loved her and wants to spend the rest of his life with her and told her that i still feel the same from the first day i met you i still feel the same i love you very very much so they stayed in dubai for two days and then traveled to south america so in south america henry was renting so they went to the house where Henry was renting and started living together. After arriving in South America, Henry's friend visited from Italy and they went to pick him at the airport. When this friend saw Nani, told her that Henry has talked a lot about you and brought a very expensive perfume as a gift from the girlfriend. The girlfriend of the friend sent it to Nani as a gift. Nani was so happy and said, oh my God, these people are very, very kind. So I've been telling you, if you're dating a guy and this guy is not talking to his friends about you, there is a problem, guys. Shine your eyes. <laughs> few days after arriving in South America, Henry told Nani, let's go see the place I bought and he had started building, but he could ask Nani on every step because he wanted to build that house as Nani wants. So he could ask for her opinion on every step. So they went, found the engineers and she loved the house and loved everything. After a few months of staying in South America, Henry took Nani to the lawyer, talked to the lawyer, told him, I want you to work on my wife's document. I want her to get her resident permit. But that resident permit, Henry never wanted to get attached to that resident permit. He wanted Nani to have the resident permit of her own. <laughs> this is very, very unique because in most cases, if you get married to a foreigner, you stay in that country just because you are married. If you divorce, that means you have to return back to the country of your origin because <laughs> your permit is because of that guy. But, but Henry never wanted that wanted nani to get her resident permit on her own even if anything happens nani remains in the country <laughs> that is very very good and it shows trust guys so henry stayed for some time and it was time for him to return to work left nani at the friend's place because nani wasn't speaking spanish so she had to learn the language that is why he couldn't leave her alone so she stayed with her friends they continued communicating he could come then leave nani kept on learning the language everything was good and then the lawyer did the good job nani got her resident permit everything was fine then after five months of her staying in south america henry bought a car so nani tells us it was july when henry came for his break <laughs> you know he works outside south america and that july they made love <laughs> and he dropped the juice inside <laughs> so after that nani started experiencing some changes she started experiencing some changes and she didn't see her periods that is when she went and did a blood test to find out she was pregnant so when she found out the husband wasn't around then at night she sent a message told him you are going to be a father to her surprise henry told her i knew <laughs> Because that day when I dropped inside, I knew you were going to get pregnant. So Henry was very, very happy that he was going to be a father. So when Henry returned, they had to go and make an ultrasound, see the baby and everything, <laughs> find out about the gender. So time passed and that year, December came. It was a day after Christmas, they had a guest henry's friend and after a friend left henry proposed went down on his knee 
and asked Nani, would you marry me? Oh my God. <laughs> this is the guy that said that he was not going to get married. Do you remember? <laughs> In Swahili, there is this say, they say, Hakuna mkate mgumu kwa shai. <laughs> like, you have a bread and we have tea. This bread will never remain hard if you have tea. <laughs> In front of tea, the bread will never be hard. I don't know if I translated well, but that is the Swahili say or Swahili proverb. <laughs> So this guy could say, I'm not going to get married. I don't believe in marriage. Marriage is just papers. But in the end, but in the end, he proposed and was like, thank you so much for all these years that you have lived with me. I love you and I'll keep loving you forever. Nani was very happy, but at the same time laughing, thinking of those days that he was saying, you'll never get married. <laughs> so guys, after the proposal, they started preparing for the wedding and they went got married went also to an italian embassy and registered their marriage so that it can be known in italy legally that she is the wife of henry so guys after getting married what henry did he gave an authority to nanny to take care of the family money you take care of everything but please don't go and start buying stupid stuffs. Buy things that you really, really need. Nani tells us that they have never lacked anything. They get anything that they want. And the husband is a responsible man. But of course, guys, Henry is a responsible man. We see how he took care of the situation of the mother the other days don't think that you're dating a guy he's not showing responsibility while dating and then when you get married he's gonna be responsible no no guys <laughs> so be very careful observe things into details so guys nani tells us very two important things guys before we continue with the story first of all she says that when she was in nigeria used to think that Henry is a bit strict with money, but after getting married, he allowed her to manage lots, lots of money, family money. And guys, this guy is one of those guys that have, <laughs> but she didn't know. She came to find out when they started living together in South America. That is why I've been telling you, Take your time to know a guy. Don't start chatting with a guy and you come running to me to ask me, Bella, is he rich? <laughs> you can't know that fast. No, you need to take your time. And number two, which is very, very important, she tells us her husband reaches her here. He is shorter than her, but she has never looked into that be like what people are going to say i am tall and i'm dating a guy who is shorter than me she tells us she looked beyond that so you guys shouldn't discriminate a guy just because he is short look beyond that because she is also from a family whereby ladies are taller than men so it was normal for her she advises you to not discriminate a man just because of the height so before her pregnancy came to an end her mother-in-law came you know to take care of her when she gives birth and she spoiled her very very much could tell her sit down i'm going to do everything for you and even the day for labor when it came the mother-in-law took care of her told her what do you want to eat i'll prepare everything she was there for her she tells us her mother-in-law is such a sweet mother-in-law they have that relationship of a mother and a daughter which is very very good so guys life has been very very good for nani her family her husband everything and she thanks god for that that is their sweet love story thank you so much girl for sharing your story i know it is going to inspire lots of ladies they will learn a lot 
which is our intention to share this love story. So friends, I know this video has been really long, but thank you so much for watching till now. God bless you. Please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Let's meet in another video. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart.